In this video, we continue the process of configuring NetBeans to use JavaFX SDK. And our next uh, and final step here is going to be create new project using JavaFX application. So we're just going to say File, New Project, and select JavaFX. And it's very important that you select JavaFX FXML application to properly activate JavaFX. All you have to do here is just click the next button and it still gives us this field to automatically set up JavaFX platform but uh, now you can ignore it because JavaFX was actually activated on the system. So ignore all this and just cancel out of it. We just need to do this only one time. Finally we're going to configure our first JavaFX project and for this we're just going to create new project the usual way using java with and option so file new project and so not javafx just java with and java application so click next and i will give my project a name i'll just use week seven and main app the usual way i'll create the main class file and uh, this is what you now have to do in every JavaFX project that you create. Number one, you're going to go to Project Properties. So we're going to click our new project name, right click, Properties. So here we go to the Libraries category. And uh, in the first uh, Libraries uh, tab, Compile tab, uh, we're going to click class path plus and add library. Let's locate JavaFX. So this is my name that I gave it to my configuration. Add library. So make sure it's under class path. So we did this part and the next is under a run tab. This time module path. Same thing, module path plus, add library, and select JavaFX. So this is the second change under libraries category over here. Next, we're going to go to run category. And that will be our step number three. And under virtual machine options, we're going to add the selection of options add modules javafx controls javafx fxml just be careful with all the double hyphens uh, single hyphen spaces uh, the commas and everything just uh, copy and paste like this and you'll be fine i'm now going to click ok and now we're ready to do some testing so i'm just going to select all of this uh, generated code and replace it with a new version that uses uh, JavaFX application, uh, the stage, the scene, and the window to do some basic testing. I think I should add this also to our instructions. So basically number four, copy and paste uh, sample code. All right, so the sample code is all of this. I'm just going to select, uh, copy, and paste it in our instructions so you have all the steps that i did on my system uh, to get to this point okay so our current uh, stages were to configure netbeans project uh, to use javafx let's save this and uh, test it okay so here it comes uh, we have a window with the button that says hello world and when we click say hello world uh, it just prints the message on the console window 